very good friend, and I got the opportunity to do merchandise before by faith. But I have a little gift shop in uh, Robin Just Fall called Green Woodlow Boutique. And I made, I made, still make guitar string jewelry, and so we turned their guitar strings into jewelry. John thought it was the greatest thing. He would come in every, every other week and sit on my little couch in the boutique and say, Tony, what'd you create this week? And he got such a kick out of it. Some of you may have purchased some of the merchandise. We had these coasters of the band. And John thought he was so funny, he posted the coasters and said, drinks on us. <laughs> so he really enjoyed that. I also work for Corky Lang and, um, of Mountain, Mississippi Queen. And John loved Corky Lang. Corky loves John also. And they were quite the couple. <laughs> and, and um, so I also did a podcast, and I interviewed John. So this is a very funny story. So John said, come meet me at Mazira Park. Is that the name of the park that we were all supposed to be at today? And so we met there. And it was very noisy. So he said, yeah, this is not good. We, we don't need any noise. Let's go to the Groundhog, and they'll stick us in a corner. And the Groundhog is where John had coffee every morning, right? Come, stand, stand next to me, Janice. And then, so then we went in there and they were clanging dishes. And he's like, yeah, no, this is no good. Now this was supposed to be a 10 minute interview and now it's turning into like an hour. So he said, I have the perfect place. Let's go in the, on this little dock somewhere in Wappingers. And we had to walk around all the duck poop. I don't didn't even know what street it was on. And then, so we had chairs and we sat down and he's like, okay, this is perfect. No garbage trucks started backing up. So we had a great laugh. And then he said, okay, let's start the interview. We started the interview. And this interview was recorded on my phone. <laughs> and so all of a sudden my phone rings and it's Corky Lang. <laughs> so the two of them had this whole conversation and now the interview is going three hours. Anyway, it turned out great. And the most wonderful thing is, I have that recording, all the bloopers on my phone. And uh, yeah, so, um, oh God, I didn't know I was gonna get emotional. And then, um, I, I wasn't even planning to do this. They just grabbed me and said, kill time. But the morning that John passed, um, I spoke with him that morning, and we were laughing it up about Corky Lang. Not that Corky Lang is a laughing matter, but it's uh, not well, So, maybe. <laughs> but another great musician, they loved each other, they had that camaraderie, and I was just so blessed to know John. And thank you all for coming.